Hey, peace, love, and light, my beautiful divine masculine lines. Welcome to First Eye Visions. My name is Q, and I'm here to do a general reading for the masculine, the yang energy. I did the feminine reading, the yin energy, uh, yesterday, so it's only right that I balance out the scales and get the masculine's reading out. If you've been here before, you know that my readings are general. So that means eat the fish, spit out the bones. If it doesn't apply, let it fly by. My readings are also timeless. So whenever you find yourselves clicking on the video, then beloved, that was divine timing intended for you to do so. If you are new here, welcome to the platform. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the soul tribe. The way I do things here on this side is I am an intuitive. I'm also empathic. And I am also Claire Audient, so you will hear music playing in the background. And the way things work here is the messages in the song, whether the lyrics, name of the artist, maybe even the timestamp of a song, it will resonate and correlate, I should say, with the messages that I am channeling intuitively, as well as what's coming out with the tarot cards. Right now we have Group Home, and the name of this song is called Superstar. So there is a lot of, a lot of, I heard boss energy, um, a lot of boss energy, like, and I'm hearing something else in my mind's eye, um, BD energy, you know what I'm talking about? Uh, that's, that's been a saying as of late, but, um, I don't feel it's ego. I just feel like you, 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 you kind of leveled up. It's like, it's like your bark matches your bite or your bite matches your bark. It's like, you you've healed through some things you've gone through some things and it's like now you are shining like the king you are like the emperor that you are uh with superstars like you took the necessary time out to heal you took that time out to pause to reflect to self-reflect to do some deep dives to do some internal work and now it's like you're rising you're emerging as someone who's not just different but you are unique. You have some sort of unique way in which you are presenting yourselves. Um, I don't know if some of you all are artists, uh, but it's like the name of this album for Group Home is called Living Proof. So I feel like it's like you are like living proof that you can defy the odds. Maybe some of you all been through some really dark times, some really, really toxic traumatizing moments maybe y'all face death and you're living proof that you could turn your lives around um maybe some of you all have lost close relatives and it's surprising sometimes it's shocking to you that you're still here because a lot of your childhood friends a lot of your you know a lot of the homeboys or a lot of the brethren that you grew up with they're no longer here so it's like you're living proof that you could change your life around maybe back in the days y'all was like wow for the night do you know what i'm talking about like y'all was just out there busting guns and 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 just living that that fast life that street life and it's like now you're here um live in proof that you can change and not just change but you could change for the better uh i feel some of you all are um you know maybe you all work in group homes with adolescents maybe that's a passion of yours to try to reach other youth so that they don't follow the same dark path that you may have followed um, maybe some of you all are stepping in as mentors. Um, maybe you're even doing that for your own nephews or your own children, like you're stepping in more uh, because you see how influential, you know, the culture is right now. Um, you know, hip hop is in hip hop. It's it's called rap music. They call it trap music. And it's, you know, the power of words is is really um you know, words of spells, spells bind. So for the for the powers to be to uh, label or name a genre of music trap is very, very telling of what they are doing to the minds of the youth. So maybe you're trying to or you are um, making a change by, you know, kicking the truth to the to the youth. You know, I'm hearing that in my mind's eye, you know, so it's like you're being that vessel. Uh, and you're living proof that you can change. You're living proof that you can, um, 
transform for the better uh, because you've been through the thick of it. You've been through some times. There were some moments where you didn't think you would make it alive, make it out alive, make it out of a certain situation alive. Maybe you never thought that you would see 25. Maybe some of you I'm hearing were in accidents like motorcycle accidents, car accidents. Um, and, you know, it's it's a blessing that you're here right now. We have Dave East and the name of this song is called Woke Up. So a lot of y'all woke up from the spells that y'all were under. Um, I feel like a lot of y'all were, you know, really in a very dismal place. And it's like it's it's truly a blessing that you're here now um, and not just here, but you are thriving. Um, you're wiser uh, and you have some life skills, some life experience that you can really impart to the youth and it's like they respect you they're receptive to you because they could tell you've been through the things you're speaking of you're not just talking from a soapbox at them so maybe if you are um looking to be like counselors or as i said mentors um maybe that's a passion of yours that's something that you you know wish you had growing up and maybe that's a you know you want to pay it forward um but i i do feel a strong sense that a lot of you you masculines have been through some really really traumatizing um moments in your lives and it's like you know looking at you now it's like you're living proof that you can turn your lives around and i just commend you all because it does take strength it requires a lot of strength and it requires even you know some some ownership you know some accountability some maturity you know that's something a lot of people don't do even though we expect that you know you automatically assume as you get older you're maturing but that is the complete opposite there's a lot of babies walking around in grown men bodies and a lot of young ladies you know young girls walking around in grown woman bodies um and it will be that way until you heal that inner child and i feel like you all did the work because with superstar playing um i definitely feel like you all are uh absolutely stars um you have healed through some really tumultuous uh, tumultuous experiences and it has made you stronger it has made you better and you've also learned how to co-create you know how to tap into your power and how to channel that power and utilize it for good and um, I feel like you're you're really uh, coming into some blessings I feel like spirit has not only saved you from a lot of the the the, the darkness that has taken place in your lives um, and look what's playing right now. We got Nas, no bad energy. So it's like not only has the Most High um, protected you from a lot of those instances, um, but I feel like you're starting to realize why. You know, maybe for a long time you were, you know how they say survivor's um, remorse uh, where, you know, you may have lost a lot of loved ones and, you know, you sit with that pain. You sit with the remorse of still being here, but it's like, it's because you have a purpose. It's because spirit is using you. And that could be why your heart is heavy right now or not even heavy, but you're, you're feeling perhaps some strong and deep desire to pay it forward, um, to help others. Uh, and so you could be very, very mindful right now to, to kind of like, you're getting rid of things that don't serve your highest good. Maybe if a lot of you all partook in like, say smoking, drinking things that, you know, it's, it's really a waste of money and a waste of time and energy. Um, maybe you started to like take account of what you was, um, spending, you know, um, and you realize like it was a waste. So now you're making it your business to perhaps like detox, you know, no bad energy, no, no bad spirits. You know, they call liquor, wine, spirits. It's another name. Uh, and it's because they say that there, there's a whole other energy that takes over. Um, and so maybe right now you're just like flushing and detoxing and really focused on getting the mind right, um, getting your body back you know, back right, you know, stronger. Uh, so there is a very beautiful energy. I'm picking up on you masculines, a very focused energy. Um, and with Nas singing um, Ramen, no bad, no bad energy. I do feel like there's, there's a, a sense of you like getting rid, you know, I'm hearing good riddance. So maybe you're getting rid of bad energy, like meaning uh, people as, as well in, in, in addition to bad habits. Uh, 
uh, but you could be also like getting rid of the people around you um, that are kind of holding you back, you know, holding you back from your greatness, you know, kind of like, you know, dead weight, you know, almost you're starting to see things a little clearer. Um, things are starting to become very crystal clear, in fact, uh, and you, you're starting to see how certain people come around and, and encourage certain behaviors that perhaps maybe you're trying to like slow down, you know, so maybe, for instance, like say you in a focused mode and you're creating um, and you're writing, you know, and then you'll have a homeboy just come in and it just pop up, interrupting the flow of things, interrupting the creative processes. And they bring a bag of herb and bring some brown liquor or they bring a bottle and, and now you off track. So it's like that's a bad energy that would be considered a bad energy because it's distracting you from your divinity, which is to create, which is to birth something new. And if that's what you were doing prior to them coming and interrupting that process, maybe you're starting to reflect on that. But um, but that's just what I'm picking up. Let's see what the cards say. So um, let's go ahead, do some deep diving. So um, I would like to call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit, Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother, Gaia, universe, source, the divine, shine a powerful, powerful message of love and life for my divine masculine lines. I ask that you help me to pick up on the energy, number, synchronicity, and vibrations of my cards. I call upon beautiful Baba Obatala, Mama Oya, and Baba Ogun. To bless me with the ability to tap in to the cards intuitively, and so it is. So mote it be. Ashe, ashe, ashe. So let's see what we got. So beloved, beloved spirit, what do we have? And so we have Nas, um, and this is called Reason. So we got um, the number is 66 healing on the bottom of the deck. So you all have absolutely, you've you've done the work. 66 healing came out in the divine feminine whenever I see double numbers that also lets me know that you're mirroring your divine feminine so this is a confirmation of that because in the divine feminine reading there was a divine masculine that was coming in and they was coming in completely ready for whatever they was down for whatever they was ready for whatever like like prepared so I do feel like you all are very much in tune um, you are balanced. I just, I get a sense of you knowing what you want, uh, and you not backing down from the work it requires to, uh, to obtain it, um, with reason. I feel like you've been very reasonable, um, in, in your pursuit of greatness. Um, you've been very reasonable even with the people around you. Um, and it's just hitting a point where, um, if it doesn't serve you, your greatest good, if it doesn't really benefit you, I don't feel like you're wanting to participate because you're looking at it as a distraction. Um, I also feel because this is called streets disciple, um, as I was picking up earlier with the masculine energy that you all could have been out in them streets. I mean, it was a lot of, you know, especially if you in that, you know, 70s baby era, even if you 60s baby, you know, that, that, that being out, being out in the streets, being out and in, involved in different activities, um, you know, masculine energy is rambunctious. They, they, you know, they're, they're very, um, you know, um, rebellious you know and so there could have been an energy of you being out there like being really um in the streets and with the disciple you could have been someone who always had a connection to your spirituality um and that's what saved you um you never really got deep into the savagery but you was right there along with the people that was doing it you was in it but you wasn't you didn't become you know um you didn't get completely taken over by it if that makes any sense and that's why I feel like I was picking up on survivor's remorse because it's like you're looking back like yo you're living proof that you can survive sometimes I'm I'm hearing a, a story in my mind's eye where some of you all may have had you know someone shooting at you and you survived someone 
pointing a gun and point blank range and it and it didn't it didn't go off like I'm picking up some really heavy energy um you losing loved ones close friends childhood friends that you grew up with I'm hearing ace boons day ones um that you grew up with a even brothers like family members people that you were really tight with and that's why I was picking up like this remorseful energy uh because you're still here and and you're thinking of the life that was cut short for those, um, you know, those who had transitioned. And I feel strongly that they're still with you. They're watching over you. And a lot of the reason why you're picking up on this energy is because they're around you. But it's like they're inspiring you to make their uh, demise, their untimely demise, um, meaningful. So for a select few, y'all, maybe you're thinking about becoming, like I said, a mentor, a big brother. Uh, maybe you're taking on, you know, one of your friends, um, you know, taking in one of your friend's uh, children because you see them going down a dark path. So you're stepping in to be that mentor. You're stepping in to be someone that they could look up to. Uh, and that's beautiful because I feel honestly like your beloveds, your the, the ones you've lost are encouraging and inspiring you. Um, and those are the reasons that you may be feeling uh, these very strong emotions uh, begin to erupt because they've been lying dormant. So it's almost like, you know, through the healing process, there's a lot of things coming to surface. And that may be the reason why some of you are starting to think heavily about you know, making your life mean something because you're living proof that you can come out of a dark time, a dark period and still be successful, still be here, still have a story to tell. So that is a very beautiful, beautiful message. Um, so we have here 19 pride. Look at that. So you've you've had an ego death and I feel it's because the heartbreak, you know, the the, the disappointment, the pain you know, you've been through so much pain, beloveds. I could feel the pain, man. I, I really feel the pain. But it's like it's it's matured you in a way, you know, because this this pride, it's like maybe a lot of you all were walking around and and masquerading pain as power. You know, a lot of people will will confuse the two. You know, they think that being loud is strong or being, you know, being very um, provocative is is strong. You know, that's what's so twisted with the music. They think that that makes you super duper masculine. And it's just it's super duper ignorant to be sitting around calling feminine energy bitches and hoes and talking about your money and braggadocious. That's so childish, so immature. If you're going to do it, there's a very you know, you got to be creative with it the way they used to be back in the days, you know, um, you got to read a dictionary and, and incorporate, you know, some other verbiage, you know, other than bitch and hoe in your lyrics also, but I digress, but I just feel like for you all, there, there is, there's the, um, a sense of maturity, I feel a strong sense of maturity, like you all have matured, you've, you've kind of like had this ego death, and that's what has allowed you to really fully heal, you know, with that superstar that came out in the beginning of the reading by group home. I really feel like that's what allowed you to regroup, to ground yourself, to balance out your energy, to find that emotional equilibrium because you had to get rid of the ego. But that is just a facade. That is just a mask one wears to hide the pain they truly feel. And so maybe this could pertain to some of you all. But with this 19 is showing me that there is a death of an ego. You know, there's 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 more harmonized energy. You know, it's really it's a harmonized type of energy here. And because you've matured and because you've rid yourself of that ego, because you've gotten rid of, you know, like I said, the, those faulty belief systems, you know, the bad behaviors. You know, even the negative people that may have been around you influencing some of that behavior, um, you're starting to, you know, really vibrate on the frequency of your divine feminine. And I feel there's more of 
um, a possibility for you to bump into that divine feminine. We have, um, and I'm saying that because we got Eugene, uh, Eugene Wilde. And this is called Gotta Get You Home Tonight. So it's a possibility you might bump into someone, perhaps even from your past, you know, because the chemistry, the synergy going to be that strong. You know, the attraction is going to be that strong. But the wild is also, also um, ringing, you know, that that's more so uh, giving me, you know, the energy of how you used to be. You was really wild. And like I said, you, you was wild for the night. I did mention that earlier. And then we got Eugene Wilde singing, got to get you home tonight. So maybe y'all was wild in, in, the regard, in regards to, um, you know, just being very uh, much that player, you know. Just kind of knocking everything down that you could get your hands on. You know what I'm saying? Um, but it's like you're, you're maturing now. You know, maybe you're looking to, looking into settling down. And we got 56 relationship change. And that reduces to 11, of course. And we know 11 is associated with the twin flame. And we got Eugene Wilde. Got to get you home tonight. So with relationship change um y'all may get somebody home and then you ne may never leave you know what i'm saying they might never leave because you gonna be white you gonna be like you you gonna be wifing somebody up it looks like you gonna be wifing somebody up or you gonna be locked down because with relationship change somebody's coming in to lock you down um but let's go ahead i see communication coming so there will be some sort of you know conversations you know maybe you all are um going to be reaching out to some folks or someone may be reaching out to you but I feel with that number six uh this could be somebody from the past like I said because I was picking up with this gotta get you home I don't feel like you know especially with that ego death I don't feel like you just picking up any old body at a bar or at a pub or at a restaurant or a grocery store I feel like you're, you're like literally like pulling out that black book with those special names <laughs> this is somebody that you got some sort of like pre-existing type of uh you know connection somebody from your past that you like you 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 always had them in the back of your mind and now that you've put your ego to the side maybe you wanted them to chase you you know maybe there was some sort of run a chaser dynamic whatever the case may be you know but now it's like there, there's there's a desire to communicate and I feel like you're going to be the one to to take the lead because we got 81 leadership on the bottom of the deck and nine is the highest number in vibration of change. And I just spoke on how you have matured and transformed and rid yourself of an ego. So you've had some sort of ego death and we also saw that relationship change. So maybe you're taking initiative. You're going to boss up. You're going after what you want. You're a leader. You're very assertive as well. You know what you want. You know, and you don't back down. You know, that's not your personality. That's not who you are. And so we have Kiki Rowe, go get her, <laughs> featuring Mano. So you're definitely going to get somebody that you feel is the main one. Like, this is the one that got away. With Maine and then O, I feel like this is the main one that has gotten away from you. That's why I said there's a special black book with a special name in it. And you pull that one out when you ready. You don't pull it out when you still got that player card activated. Like you done deactivated the card. You done cut it up and threw it away because you're ready. That's why that relationship changed 56 because you already know that's the one that got away. 56 is 11. So there is someone that you had a beautiful connection with, but I, I'm hearing karmic. Because 11 is justice in traditional tarot. So I feel like there was a karmic that either you had to rid yourself from or you you're, you are, are attracting someone who has since had some sort of karmic completion. And so now the two of you could come to union. And I feel you as well as this person that you're attracting, the yin uh, to your yang fellas, is um, also on the frequency. This could be someone who you could be calling in, you know, because you're very, very in tune and tapped in with that uh, high priestess is number two. So that 5611, I'm getting two as well, you know, as well as that 11, which is justice. So I do feel like there's some sort of truth that's going to be spoken. And I feel like you're ready to go get someone that you feel like you let slip away, you know, and it's a spiritual partnership. Look at this. We got 27 spiritual partnership on the bottom of the deck. 
So this is in fact your twin flame. This is the same card that showed up in the yin uh, reading. So everything that comes out in your reading comes out in the feminine's reading. Everything that comes out in the feminine's reading comes out in the, it's like, it's, that's how you know this, these messages are real. You know, it, this is real. You can't fake this, you know, this is powerful. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna get a couple more shuffles and then we're gonna cut the deck. So spirit, divine, spirit of love and light. What's coming in for my divine masculine lines? Can I have a message of love and light? So you going after what you want. You know, you're going after what you want. I feel strongly like this is the one. You feel this is the one. You're ready. You're prepared. You don't have the ego death. You've went through your own transformation. You've been healing. They've been healing because that 66 healing showed up. And I said that you're going to mirror your divine feminine and they're going to mirror you. Whenever I see double numbers on a card, I always feel like you're mirroring the person that's meant for you. They want your cosmic companion, your soulmate, your twin flame. That 11 confirmed it, you know. So let's see what we got coming in, going out, going on. I'm going to cut these cards. So that was the first cut. And if you are new here, this is called the Dark Matter series where there is no picture. It's just my voice. Ashe. So we got on the bottom of the deck music so we got music playing and this is uh slum village playing right now called tell me so with this um i feel somebody is definitely going to call and speak to you and tell you how they really feel because this music card is number 32 32 is the number five it's also associated with the hierophant the five is associated with the throat chakra so the throat chakra is about expression um, and expression either through communicating your needs and wants, your feelings, your aspirations, your dreams, your desires. Um, it could also be indicative of you expressing yourselves creatively and artistically. Um, I absolutely feel that there is a desire for you to reach out and tell someone um, how you truly feel. Um, this is someone that I feel like you have a very natural connection with, uh, a natural synergy, a natural chemistry, the f conversations flow, they're stimulating, um, you laugh with this person, you feel like, you know, you knew this person for a long time. I got 74 nature in my hand right now on the bottom of the deck. And 74 is again that 11 that we saw earlier with relationship change. I feel like through conversations, through getting to know this person again, you know, there's going to be an opportunity to reconnect, you know, to get to know one another again. And I feel like the the, the dynamic is just going to be so natural, the flow of things. It's just like, it's just going to get to a point, like I said, where they're going to come over and they're never going to leave or vice versa. It's just like, it's just going to just become a relationship because of the chemistry that the two of you share. And I feel with this five, the five also, like I said, is the hierophant, but the hierophant speaks to marriage. So you could have such a strong chemistry with this person that there could be marriage in your future. I feel strongly that there has been some sort of, you know, leveling up because you have really communicated uh, with, you know, people that are are masters maybe a master teacher you've been going to a pastor uh, maybe you've been going to a family member or someone that's an elder particularly someone that has been in a relationship in a marriage a successful marriage for years 40 years 50 years I'm hearing maybe even 20 years but it's like you are going and seeking the advice the wise counsel from people who have who are living proof that relationships work, that marriages work, because maybe you, you know, that karmic left a bad taste in your mouth. Maybe somebody who's coming in is also going to be telling you, um, you know, their fears and expressing their fears. And you're going to be able to assure them because you have matured and you have rid yourself of that ego 
that you're not in the business of trying to juggle and play games and manipulate and hurt feelings and break hearts. You're not on that type of time no more. So it's like with tell me, I feel like this person and you, you're going to feel like you're in a safe space to tell one another how you truly feel. You're going to feel like you're in a safe space to really share, you know, your love language. And there's going to be like some sort of positive, um, I feel a positive outcome because with this nature, I feel like the relationship flourishes and grows because the both of you are uh, cultivating and nurturing it. It's not just one sided. So this is a, a, a concerted effort, if you will, you know. This is beautiful, man. So let's see what's coming in for our divine masculines. We have a message of love and light. And we have De La Soul, and this is called The Future. So, yeah, I da absolutely feel like this person is going to be your future wife, your queen, your divine feminine. And it's because you've grinded. This is the Grind Date album. I feel like you've worked for this. With Grind, I feel like you've worked for this. And I feel like, you know, there's, a, there's definitely marriage in your future. And we got perseverance here. So you've persevered through a lot, just like I was picking up. Like you all have been through some trauma, some toxicity in your lives. Like you've seen a lot. And and I was feeling very heavy. I was feeling this heavy feeling of of remorse and pain, like survivor's remorse. Like I was feeling that. But it's like you have learned to accept, you know, not just accept their transition your loved ones transitions but you've also learned to forgive yourselves um to not judge you know you've persevered through a lot this four is really indicative of you recuperating recovering and rejuvenating your spirit you know finding your independence again finding your happy place learning to love again and I feel like whoever this divine feminine is that comes in, she's going to nourish that. She's going to be patient. She's going to have a very healing um, energy, you know, vibration. And it's going to make you feel like you can trust again, like you can be open and vulnerable again. And with this future, I just feel like you have a bright future, you know. Your soulmate is coming in with De La Soul. I feel like this bright future, this four is your vibration of the divine masculine. So they're saying that you have really persevered through great pain, trauma, you know, to get to this place where you are that emperor. You know, you are manifesting the changes in your lives. You are in a very powerful position to make decisions in your lives, to move. You, you know, you have that confidence, that assertiveness, you know. And with this environment on the bottom of the deck, I feel like your divine feminine is closer than you can think. I see 444 four, because four, we got four perseverance and then we got 44 on the bottom of the deck. And remember what I said about double numbers, four and four is you both are mirroring one another in terms of having self-love. That's the first step. You got to learn to love yourselves. And because you have that ego death, you've learned to love yourself. You're not judging yourself anymore. You're not, you know, blaming yourself for anyone's passing. You're not blaming yourself for still being here. What you're going to do is you're going to turn that pain into power and you're going to utilize your magic and be the star that you was born to be. Just like that divine feminine, that message came through. You was born to be a star. You was born to shine bright. You're here for a purpose. Most divine feminines and masculines, that's just what your life mission is. You're here to be the vessel. You're earth angels. You're here to enlighten and awaken the masses, the collective. And so it's no brainer. It's a no brainer. And with the future, you have a bright future ahead of you. And I feel like it's because a wish fulfillment is coming in. This 44 is saying that this is closer than you could even imagine. This is a miracle. This is a blessing. This is your destiny. I feel this is someone that, you know, is m perhaps um, this is someone you could have been manifesting or praying for, or calling in, sending up petitions. I absolutely feel like this energy is like it's going to grow and flourish. This is somebody that you can like compromise with, build with, grow with, have a family with, build a legacy even start a business like this is like a power couple type of dynamic. 
and the love is ever flowing it's a very fulfilling i just get fulfillment emotionally mentally and we got nipsey hustle rising power king and the name of the song is called double up and these are double numbers so I definitely feel like the love is doubled, you know, because we got 444. So I do feel this is a spiritual union. It did show up on the bottom of the deck, spiritual partnership. And I feel like your angels, your ancestors, whomever you pray to, whomever you call in, they have been giving you signs. They have been letting you know. Some of you all could be clairaudient as well. And you may be hearing certain songs, you know, that remind you of a particular person or there could be messages there could be certain downloads maybe you all are musicians and that is a way that you express yourselves and you may be finding yourselves expressing yourselves authentically you know more uh authentically you know unapologetically now like maybe in the past you was holding back showing that more vulnerable side you know you was trying to hide your inner ll cool j <laughs> you know what i'm talking about you know what i'm saying but now you just like yo this is what i'm feeling you know and so it's like, you know, maybe that's a that's a message as well. But let's see what we got coming and going out going on. What's coming in for our divine masculines? Please, spirit, we have a message of love and of light. All right. So I see a card flipped over. We're going to finish the shuffle. And we have parenting. So some of you all was dealing with, uh, you know, a karmic. A karmic mother to your child, or maybe you have a karmic mother, period. You know, maybe your mother has been, you know, kind of like someone who has been very intrusive, overbearing, meddlesome even, you know, always in your business when it comes to relationships. Perhaps this is the person that interfered with a relationship that you genuinely felt, um, you know, you felt very, um, you know, you felt this this connection to. And, and maybe you listen to a parent and they kind of like misguided you. They gave you misadvice. They, they, mis they ill-advised you, in other words. This could also be like, you know, a children's mom. And maybe you have a, a, a karmic children's mother. Some of you all may have twins, I'm hearing, with double up. But I just feel like, you know, this energy, perhaps this is someone that you could even see as the mother to your child, this divine feminine coming in, someone that you can have that, you know, happy house, happy spouse, happily ever after vibration. But I also feel strongly like a lot of you all are really, you know, finalizing some sort of, you know, karmic relationship with, you know, the mother to your children because it's 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 just time to to end it you know 63 which is the number of the parenting card is nine that's the highest number of change there's, there's nothing more there to do you're looking towards this spiritual partnership i got 27 here spiritual partnership so i feel like you're ending it with the mother to your child maybe that's why you were trying to stick it out you know some of you all could have been in a relationship for nine years. I'm hearing 18 with double up. Nine and nine is 18. We got nine, 27 on the bottom of the deck of my hand. And then we got Nipsey Hussle saying double up. So I feel like some of y'all could have been with the mothers to your children for maybe 18 years. And you just realize like, okay, you're done, done, fin. It's like you put in enough time and effort and it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not, um, fulfilling you you know you feel like more of a prisoner than you do a free spirit and you don't want to hold them back either you know but I do feel like you're more focused on the spiritual partnership that you know you have because like I said those feelings are intensifying those feelings something is that has been lying dormant inside of you is starting to you know erupt you're starting to think about somebody a lot more. You're starting to, you know, you're starting to to inquire more. And with these double numbers, I feel like this is that twin flame, that soulmate. So let's see what's coming and going out going on for my divine masculines. We have another message, please. We have another message. Spirit, love and light. Uh, spirit, love and light message of love and light thank you spirit 
and we got moderation 14 so those are the changes there was conflict as well you made some changes within yourself because I feel like y'all realize you can't change you know nobody else but you you know because this is right next to that moderation I mean to the parenting and then we have 48 financial discipline so you had to make some changes for yourself because there was a lot there was a lot of things that was happening and I absolutely feel y'all went into um you you know you were humbled by someone that was you know that got some years of experience on you you know you sat at the feet of an elder humbly and you asked questions because you was very focused on changing you didn't want to perpetuate you know certain behaviors you didn't want to perpetuate because it's like, like I said, when you mature and grow, it's like you get rid of those old ideologies, belief systems, habits. You know what I'm saying? You cut up that player card and throw it in the trash because it doesn't mean anything. You know what I'm talking about? And we got Jay-Z can't knock the hustle right now. So it's like, you know, this is what you was focused on is like self-improvement, growth, elevating. You started to tap into your inner divine masculine you started to really hone skills master craft sharpen swords that 14 moderation that really put you in the zone in the flow into that you know into that frequency where you was being very creative you know that 14 is the five that's your creativity like i said earlier tapping into your creativity your artistry the remember the music came out so maybe tapping into your divinity is what led to this spiritual awakening what led to you becoming spiritually strong also what led to you discovering you know what you were passionate about what your heart's truest desires were because you was making the necessary changes internal spiritual even external working out detoxing like taking care better care of yourself with 48 financial discipline I do feel like there was also a focus on getting your finances together because maybe in that karmic relationship, there was a lot of just splurging, you know, and you didn't have nothing to show for anything. And I see here with this 48, it's like you're mastering your craft and this is going to produce some sort of positive uh, results financially for you. Spirit is going to really bliss you for your hard work and effort because we got 48 financial discipline and that 48 reduces to 12 which is three and so that three is like that empress energy but it's also giving me the three of pentacles where you're working hard you could be building new alliances maybe this is speaking about a former alliance you had you know you could have lost a lot in a former relationship maybe because you've discovered somebody was cheating creeping sleeping around maybe you lost a lot of money being the player it's very costly to be out here whining and dining folks <laughs> like you know what i'm talking about like it's cute <laughs> but you know was your pockets really like that <laughs> so it's like it's a that's a that's an expense you know taking all these little hot tamales out to dinner you know what I'm talking about? Like, so some of y'all had to reevaluate that. With you can't knock the hustle. Like, y'all was getting hustled out of a free meal and, and a glass, a couple glasses of wine. And y'all had to make them necessary changes. Like, look, I can't be doing this for the rest of my life. I can't be out here playing games and you know what I'm saying? Even Jay Z had to settle down, you know? He was the king of talking about pimping. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. <laughs> What's that song? Big pimping, spending G's. Like, come on, y'all wasn't, y'all wasn't like balling like that to be following that. <laughs> so y'all had to make the necessary moderations, beloved. Like, look, I ain't got it. So yeah, this is this is that ego death. Like, okay, I can't keep up with these rap guys. I can't keep up with these celebrity, this celebrity life. I can't keep up with the homeboys on the block talking all that. Like, nah. I was like, my pockets ain't ready for all of that. I, I got to make sure I'm good. So y'all made the necessary changes. Like I said, ego death. Y'all done got rid of that player card because it was too expensive. Shit cost too much. 
<laughs> you know what I'm saying? You, t- I'm talking about like for real. If you got like three or four, most dudes got about three or four girls in rotation at a time, and you taking each and every one of them girls out to dinner and out to eat and buying them flowers and trying to make each of them feel just as special, you know, that's costly, beloved. That's costly. So I feel like y'all woke up, you know, just like that song was playing earlier. You woke up, Davies, I believe it was, and, and you was like, I can't do this. This is too costly. It's costing me an arm and a leg. I got bills to pay. I got a car note. I got children to feed. <laughs> so y'all was reevaluating your life. <laughs> He was making different life decisions out here. So we got Jada, Jada Kiss. You know I'm a clown. But we got Jada Kiss right now. Um, this is called Something Else. Yeah, so them bills was looking like something else. Y'all was looking at them bills like this is ridiculous. You know, and looking at the bills, looking at your bank account. <laughs> looking at your bank accounts, looking at the savings. You was like, yeah, nah. This ain't adding up, beloved. It is not adding up. This ain't math. This ain't mathin'. The math ain't mathin'. <laughs> All right, let me stop being silly. All right, what's, what's the last message we got for my divine masculines? May I have a message of love and light? Thank you, spirit. They gave me two. So we got teaching and learning, learning, and we have environment. So, yep, just as I said, just as I suspected, this 44, double number, your divine feminine is right in your vicinity she's close she's closer than you can even imagine she's right here within your environment i also feel like this is somebody y'all could have met at your places of employment you could have met this person in your neighborhood maybe in, you used to live in the same complex and y'all bumped into each other maybe this is an old childhood friend you know maybe somebody you went to school with college with high school with you know this is someone excuse me i'm getting the hiccups pardon me But this is definitely someone that you have some sort of history, as I was suspecting. Like, this is that person that I feel you feel is like, that's a wish fulfillment for you. Like, if you could get this situation back on track, this is like, you good for the rest of your life. You know, that's why I was picking up with that song, um, Gotta Get You Home Tonight. And then we had that relationship change. I feel like, yo, once you lock in on this person, you're, you're not get they're not getting out of your grips. You know what I'm saying? With something else, this connection in and of itself is truly something else. And the name of this album is The Last Kiss. So this is the last woman you'll kiss. This is the last person you'll be with. I feel like absolutely with this teaching and learning, as I said, y'all have grown. Y'all have had some sort of transformation. You have matured. You've learned your love language. You've learned who you are, what you require, what you desire. And I feel that with this 57, your divine feminine is coming in. That's a 12. That's three. And this is something you're going to work towards. This is an alliance that you and this divine feminine will build together. Partnerships, you know, building that legacy, building that family that I was seeing. You know, it's like you you know what you want now. You're not playing games. You're not out here trying to play games. You're not out here trying to juggle. You know what I'm saying? It's like you're ready to, you know, to settle down. And with the last kiss, name of the album, I just feel like, yeah, this is going to be that last feminine that, that you're going to be with. You know, you're, you're prepared. You're ready. And we got 16 rebirth on the bottom of the deck. So you absolutely have transformed. You're, you're, you've transformed not just in terms of, you know, the situations that have transformed, you know, for you. It's, 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 it's your mind. You know, it's your state of mind. It's it's who you are as a person that has transformed. You've emerged someone completely dis- different. And I see here with this teaching and learning, as I always say, you're going to be mirroring that divine feminine that's coming in for you. And with the teaching and learning, both of you are mirroring one another because it's right next to the 44 environment. And so this speaks to growth. This speaks to you maturing. You got 444 on the deck. You got 5-5 five, five on the deck or on the board. So 4-4-4, four, 5-5. Four, four, five, five. So some of y'all could be seeing 4-4-4. Four, 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 you know, some of you all could be could uh, be born on the fourth day, the fifth day, the ninth day, on the 16th, on the 7th, on the 12th, on the 3rd. That could be your life path number. So let's see what we got coming and going out going on 
for my Divine Masculine. Let me get a message from, let's see, I'm going to pull the same deck that I pulled for the Divine Feminine. Get some good messages for the Beloveds. So I see an Ace of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. So either there's a beautiful offer coming in for you all from Spirit, and I do feel that you all will be rewarded when you do great works and you make the efforts necessary to change and transform especially after completing karmic cycles and lessons spirit reward you you know it's like they're saying job well done you know and and, and ace of pentacles is tangibles you know this could also be speaking to you offering that divine feminine you know something tangible when i look at this card there is a hand and there's the eye of heru so it's like spirit is letting you know, I've seen the great works. I've seen what you've been doing. And th here, accept this offer, accept this gift. And there is a ring, you know, on there's a feminine hand and there is a ring. So you all may be offering this divine feminine, you know, some sort of, um, you know, you may ask for their hand in marriage. You may um, propose, I'm hearing proposals. I was picking up on marriage earlier, like, you know, really settling down with someone. And we got the nine of coins on the split. So you definitely are attracted to somebody who is very much on their square. They are independent, self-sufficient, self-reliant. They got it going on and you're attracted to it. This is somebody that doesn't need or want for anything. They're not needy, you know. It's like they're not the type that's like trying to 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 like tap your pockets you know this is the type of feminine that doesn't mind paying the tab like she don't feel no type of way she don't automatically assume like look every meal is supposed to be paid by the divine masculine nah she's the type to look like i got it today you got it next time like it's what a reciprocal connection is that's why i'm saying like this right here you're ready you're ready to take that leap of faith you got a full cup of love here for this person it's like you are ready. You you ready to be faithful, loyal. Your cup is full. Let me show you this. It's like maybe in the past you was foolish. You felt foolish for letting this one slip away. I just want to show y'all what the cards look like. See that? But you see how that card that that cup is full. This the cup is f spilling. So it's like your cup runneth over for this person. You're ready. You you so ready that you you got a a, a coin here. Spirit is also rewarding you, I feel, because of your hard work. There goes that king of coins. This speaks to love. This is love that has never been, you know, expressed, confessed. This is deep love, deep passion. The ocean run deep. You know, they say 90% of the ocean hasn't even been discovered. So imagine the deep love, intensity, the feelings of emotion that you have for this person that has never been expressed or communicated. Yep, just like I said, the judgment card, you've made some sort of, you've had some sort of wake-up call. You know, maybe you're waking up to the fact that maybe in the past she was a little foolish to let this one slip by. And the trap is getting stuck in your mind and telling yourselves all the reasons why it won't work or all the reasons why you shouldn't go towards that person. Don't, don't get trapped there because that's self-deception I see now I saw the eight of swords now I'm seeing the seven of swords so don't get trapped in a space of self-deception and self-sabotage you know what I'm talking about and we have um ghost face killer and this is called let's stop playing featuring John Legend so see there was there was a lot of mind games a lot of you know gaslighting playing you know playing people for the boo boo the fool you know, and like I said, see that? I can't make this up. Let's stop playing. And we got the fool here. And then we got the seven of swords. So who was really getting played? You know, I feel like if, if, if you was playing, if you was playing the field and being the player, it's like at the end of the day, you feel foolish because you're still sitting here with a full cup of love. So nobody really fully, you know, fulfilled you, you know, except for the one that you let slip by, you know. And so that's like self-deception. The Seven of Swords is like deceiving others, but also deceiving yourself. This Eight of Wands is showing me that there's some sort of forward movement, some sort of powerful movement here. I feel that's communication, good news. Now the Queen of Cups is here. So see that? The mirror. There we go. 
that is the suit the, the king showed up first and then the queen showed up so i told y'all your divine feminine is right here because we saw that 44 environment so that means they they closer than you could even imagine and i feel like y'all are about to like come into union is about to be a reuniting reuniting because remember we have this um dang what did we have we have the 57 the um teaching and learning which is 12 which is three so we got the six of staffs that's that's like victories breakthroughs everybody's not going to be happy about this either but there's a major breakthrough there's a major victory and this could also be speaking to some sort of like celebratory moment it's like everybody is going to witness some sort of celebration. This could speak to a marriage. But this is really like, you know, being recognized. You're being held in a high regard. But this is a very beautiful, powerful movement forward for you. And I feel like maybe, you know, when it comes to your music, maybe you're going to see um things take off if you are a creator of music if you are a creative it's like it's going to be well received like there's going to be i feel like your music is going to like it's your streaming numbers are going to be through the roof it's like start working on that like start pushing your materials start getting your music out there i also feel a lot of you all are uh clairaudient and we have this death card see that so you've you've definitely survived a lot of trauma. We got the death. And remember, I was speaking to you all losing beloveds, you know, childhood friends, maybe even family members, you know, but you've persevered through all of this. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. And 13 reduces to four. And we have four perseverance here that we are about to clarify. So spirit is recognizing the healing, the work that you have had to do. You know, this is really about you healing thyself, you know. And the only way you can love thyself is by first healing thyself. But I absolutely feel there's been major changes in your life, enormous change, sudden upheavals. There's been death. There's been a lot of trauma that's associated with this transformation. But you are emerging someone that is stronger, someone that is more grounded, more humbled. That's why that ego death is there, because you're no longer confusing ego with strength or any of those euphemisms with strength and power. It's like you now know what what true power is, and it's to love thyself. And in loving thyself... It makes you more attractive. Like they say, you can attract more bees with honey or flies with whatever, however that saying goes. <laughs> but let's see what we got coming and going out, going on for my divine masculine line. Why is this for perseverance here? May I have a message of love and light? And we got Jay-Z love for free. See, some of y'all was out there just giving the D to everybody and everybody don't deserve the D. You know, I was picking up on playaways and we got the page of staff. So that's very like confirmation, very young, dumb and full of boop. You already know that's that's what that is. That page of staffs is just like, give it here. Don't say nothing. Just to give it here. Don't hold <laughs> That's what y'all was doing. Give it to me, baby. That's what y'all was saying. And we got the nine of swords here. See, this is deep regret deep regret pain remorse like you know y'all went through the motions but this is like this is the beginning of like an ego death you know this is the this is how you are able to you know relinquish that that control and surrender to the divine you know this this is like monkey mind you know when you look at this card there's a little monkey off in the distance and that's that monkey mind you know what i'm talking about see that monkey this is like confusion, delusion, but you playing yourself, but you healed from that because we're clarifying the four perseverance. So that's what you had to heal from. And after the nine of swords is the ten of swords, you know, so a lot of you all, you know, you were the cause of your own pain, but you also, you know, were participating in a lot of things that were kind of like self-sabotaging, you know, and we have this page of staff. I feel like a lot of y'all was looking back like, dang. 
you know, like, you know, this is also remnants of that incubus succubus type of dynamic as well. You sleeping with a bunch of, you know, a bunch of, um, what's the word, beloved? What is it, harlots? Or, you know what I mean, you know, when you sleeping with just some old incubus succubus, you know, they, they, they definitely will suck your energy, um, you know, your life force from you. You know, because they're energy vampires, they're like leeches, they're, you know, spiritual parasites, you know, and this right here is someone who has been left with a spiritual transmitted disease. They done brought you down to your knees. You're like suffering mentally, agonizing, but you've healed from that. That's what's most important. This is where you were, but now you are in a space where you've persevered. And a lot of that was regret, pain, remorse. A lot of that was trauma from the past. This is you ridding yourself. That nine of swords is you ridding yourself of those old ideologies and belief systems. You know, ridding yourself of this childish behavior, trying to be a pimp. We got love for free playing by Jay-Z. You know what I'm talking about? So you was giving away your life force for free. People don't realize that your love, that your your intimacy, the intim the act of sex and intimacy, that is like that is like people don't realize that is a, a spiritual uh practice. You aren't to just lay with anything. You know? That's why you're brought down to your knees begging baby baby please and spirit answers the call because you heal from that so let's see why is this um parenting here for my divine masculine we have a message of love and life spirit thank you spirit so they gave me three messages and i'm gonna put them all in the next three slots so we have this emperor didn't i call y'all the emperor so y'all was dealing with like a child's mother child's father this could have been somebody very overbearing this could have even been a father you know, some of y'all was trying to live up to your father's expectations. Maybe y'all had one of those masculine, like, like super alpha male dads. Like, they tell you all the things that's not masculine. You know, crying. Stop crying like a little girl. You know, boys don't cry or whine and like little dumb shit, you know, like, and, and that stuck with you for a long time. You know, and that's why there was a lot of work needed to like change some of your ideologies belief systems that's why that ego death was there and you had to take control you know you had to take control of your own mind you had to to redefine what masculinity meant to you what love meant to you what relationships meant to you remember the leadership card showed up in the beginning and i feel like that was a huge huge learning lesson was to be your own leader your own boss and we got Stetsasonic rhyming, talking all that jazz. So there was definitely a masculine that used to try to diminish you, try to like, you know, try to make you feel less than, you know, very overpowering, my way or the highway, you know, just the type of masculine that didn't really show a lot of emotion, didn't really say the words, I love you, didn't really do things with you. They just expected you you know, perhaps to know certain things, but they didn't really instill anything in you other than boys don't cry, boys don't, you know, you, you don't sit around and, and tell no woman you love them or, you know, just little ignorant things, you know, but it's like with this parenting, y'all had like a, a very toxic dynamic with, you know, a father. I feel like some of you all had a very toxic relationship with your fathers. If this isn't your father, perhaps it's a mother. I feel there was a lack of like love, like emotional connection with that parent, whoever that parent is. Like they didn't hug you. You don't even remember a time when you were hugged or told, I love you. You know, I love you, son. They didn't give you hugs. You you went your whole childhood without even getting a hug. You don't and that's probably what made you like socially awkward or just awkward in relationships, period, because you didn't know how to emote. That's something that's taught, you know? Wow. And so we got the three of coins here, and I mentioned that on the bottom of the deck. So if this is why 
I feel like a lot of y'all found yourselves like just kind of in, you know, different relationships, you know, because you didn't have to commit to anyone per se or anyone in general because it gave you the freedom to just come and go as you please without having to really fully invest and be, you know, to be all in because you weren't prepared for that. We're talking all that jazz by Stetsasonic. I definitely feel like, you know, it, it was just a lot of wordplay. There was a lot of bedazzling feminines. There was a lot of gaslighting, perhaps from that divine masculine from your past, a father, even if it's a divine feminine that took on a lot of masculine energy that was very controlling. I felt a meddlesome energy. I felt somebody who was... um overbearing and that's exactly what the emperor is and I feel now you're taking your power back though you know you're taking your power back and you're moving to the beat of your own drum doing it how you want to because you're not falling for the okie doke you're not doing it anymore and we have the three of coins like I said so this is like you know you could be like as again because we got the 14 moderation next and this is really about like really working very hard on projects um, and not just working hard, but seeing like return of that hard work, return of your investments, you know, and we have this King of Cups here for moderation. So someone has absolutely acknowledged the changes you've made, and this is what made them fall even deeper, fall more in love with you because you are in tune and in touch with yourselves you're emotionally in equilibrium you know you've done a lot of deep diving soul searching a lot of inner work healing water is very you know indicative of healing it's also very indicative of intuition the water and the moon are they work in unison they work together because the moon actually is what uh controls the um current you know and so it's very powerful how you have you know started to tap into your own intuition and as I said as you're working on yourself you're automatically strengthening you know your intuition you're strengthening yourself spiritually and I feel like you are absolutely coming into a beautiful union there's distance between you and this person right now but I don't feel that distance is going to be uh, a factor it's not going to stop anything and we have another song star reference with slum village featuring Dwelle, and this is called star so what did I say you you have a wish fulfillment there's somebody that is very particular somebody that's as I'm speaking you already know who I'm talking about this is someone that you feel is a star. Spirit is granting you this blessing. You two are going to come into into some sort of a partnership together. You're building an alliance. I feel like you are going to offer commitment. Period. You're going to communicate your deep love. The 14, that's five. King of Cups, all about deep emotions. He doesn't express himself, but you will today. Not today, but you know what I mean. You will. When that opportunity presents itself, oh, you will be very transparent, very honest. Because you've rid yourself of that ego death. Like, you've had that ego death. So now you're just like, you are open book, beloved. Very confident. Very sure. As you should be. See that? The ace of freaking pen. I can't make this ish up. You got 44 environment. I can't make this up. Look at that. I want to show you. Because you know me, I like to show and prove. So this is it, 44, wish fulfillment, and then we have this Ace of Pentacles here, something tangible, something real. You locking someone down. This is your star, 44 is 8, that's a star. This is someone you feel like you're going to have, remember we had that um, future playing by De La Soul. So this is that soulmate. This is that person you've been praying for, wishing for, hoping for. This is the person you could have been even manifesting. But I see building a family, a legacy. This is somebody you could have worked with and y'all lost contact. Y'all about to bump back into each other, regroup, reconnect. 
rebuild. But this is the Ace of Pentacles. This is like, you know, emotional fulfillment, financial fulfillment. This is building a family, a legacy, planting seeds and roots. This is like having, you know, as I said, like making an offer. This person has a ring. Like if you look at this hand, remember I was describing it before, but I never showed you. And it's like that ring. So I feel like y'all are like offering someone an engagement ring, like you're gifting someone, I should say, with an engagement ring. And this is not just any old someone. This is that star. And the name of that album was called um, uh, Trinity. And the Trinity, if you think of the Trinity, that's man, woman and child. So this is absolutely someone you feel you can build a family, a legacy. And we have Mary J and Common speaking, come close. So this person, didn't I say that your divine feminine was closer than you can imagine and we got come close? This is beautiful. And we got 57, we're about to clarify. That's thir That's 12, that's three, that's the empress. And y'all already got the emperor that showed up. So that's another suit. See that? You got the high priestess here. Can't make this up. I mentioned the high priestess earlier. See that? Y'all? Y'all are picking up on each other's vibes. Y'all are both in tune because we got teaching and learning. So maybe you've learned how to trust your intuition and use your discernment more. You know, we come close. This that's what's bringing this person closer because they're picking up on your energy. This is a very intense union, a very powerful union. Very. I feel like there's a lot of passion, a lot of sex, a lot of love making that's going to go on. We got the sun on the bottom of the deck. Can't make this ish up. This is like the dawning of a new day, a new beginning. I feel like there's equal give and take. I see the devil here as well. So, you know, this could, there could be some borderline, like, obsessive thoughts. You know, maybe you're thinking of this person a lot. Or maybe this is just speaking of that sexual tension. So let's see what we got coming in, going out, going on with the psychic tarot. And then we're going to wrap it up. Uh, look at this beautiful man we got recognition and reward i told y'all y'all are going to be rewarded because we got that six of staffs it's like y'all are being recognized for your hard work your effort and on the bottom of the deck i mean on the split we got the 18 shadow so you're being rewarded for doing your shadow work for doing going through that dark night of the soul i told y'all y'all been through some really tra traumatic toxic you know, circumstances in your lives. And it's like, you know, y'all are living proof that, you know, as long as you do the work, you know, you could come up out of anything. And so we see you now shining like this divine masculine that you've always been like you, you, you shining like the sun. <laughs> this is a beautiful energy right here. Let me see what we got coming and going out going on for my divine masculine. We have a message of love and light. And get a message of love and life for my divine masculine, please. Yeah, you've been healing a lot. Rest and rejuvenation. Y'all have really been like in a very sacred space, you know, really protecting your energy as you should. That's very wise, you know. Some of y'all could be a little antsy, a little bored, you know, because you've been doing the same routine, you know. But I definitely see a lot of excitement coming in, especially with this new divine feminine coming in. Yeah, stand your ground and look at that. I told y'all y'all was coming into a partnership and alliance, and I just saw that as well. So let's go ahead, cut the deck for my divine masculine spirit. What's coming in for my divine masculine? What's coming in for my divine masculine? I have a message of love and of light. Thank you, spirit. Bottom of the deck, we have throat chakra. I can't make this ish up. There's a message coming through, and look what we are clarifying. 32 music, and we got six of staffs. So this is about action. After you have some sort of conversation with someone, you're going to go visit them. They're going to visit you. And what did I say? You're going to invite somebody over to the house because remember, got to get you home with me tonight. And then y'all just going to be y'all going to stay stop. Y'all going to be together. The relationship is going to take off from there because it's going to make you too closer. It's like y'all are not going to want to be apart from one another. But there's going to be a lot of honest communication. The communication is going to be very stimulating. Look what we got on the bottom of the deck. I can't make this ish up. I can't make it up. I can't make it up, beloved. We got a foundation and achievements. Like, this is what you've worked for. This is what you've been working hard for, to achieve this. 
you want something stable you want something solid you want to build a foundation with someone well here you have it and it's like you've been through the thick of it with someone else but it made you wiser it taught you to trust your intuition it also taught you to get rid of faulty belief systems you know even fugazis around you da -dun -da -duns. people giving you misinformation and bad advice and it's not out of ignorance all the time. Sometimes it is. Sometimes it's just flat out jealousy and envy. They don't want to see you progress. They don't want to see you in a happy, healthy relationship because they still hugging the block. Like, boop, boop, bye. See, look at this. We got Empress Fertility is here. Perseverance. So a lot of you all are persevering because this is what you are looking to acquire. Divine Masculine meet your divine feminine number four perseverance you had to heal that self in order to learn to love yourself now that you know you love yourself you know yourself so you know what you deserve so with this nine of swords this is the ego death and once you get rid of that faulty belief system then you could come into union with who with your divine feminine because now you're vibrating on the same frequency on the same wavelength now you two are like minds now you have similar interests Look at that. I can't make this up. This is you coming into union with who you are meant to be with. And we got the universe here. So there had to be some sort of death. The 21 is the world card in traditional tarot. With universe, there had to be a death of this relationship with a parent. Perhaps listening to this meddlesome person. Perhaps dealing with a, a, a toxic uh, mother to your children. It's like you had to put an end to that. And you had to create space and boundaries. You had to learn from that person as well. This was a karmic relationship. And we got Nas Raman, life's a bitch. So life has not been easy just as I was picking up with you divine masculines. Y'all have been through the thick of it, but you've survived. You're living proof. And that's why you've learned like you got to stand up for what you believe in. You got to stand your ground. You got to make sure to live your you know, your destiny. What is your destiny? You can't allow others to live vicariously through you. You can't be sitting around here being unhappy. It's like, so now with this universe, I feel like you've transformed, you've evolved, you've leveled up. This is like you um, having a more evolved perspective, if you will. You know, gaining a more deeper and profound understanding of yourself, of what you desire, of what you require. And also seeing people for who they truly were, seeing the relationships that needed to be cut free or even like not accepting everyone's advice or allowing people to overstep their boundaries when it came to you or even the relationships you have. You know, why is 63 parenting and the four of the emperor here for my divine masculine? May I have a message of love and light? See that? We got disruption. Disruption is the tower. Somebody was causing tower moments in your life. This is what they was doing, keeping you restricted. They was roadblocking you, block. They was like hindering you, making you question yourself, making you second guess yourself. This is like roadblocks. This is like they was disrupting your peace even, your happy place. 16 is a 7. 7 is the, the um, chariot in traditional tarot. But it's also the crown chakra. And we got red pill featuring Cambada. And this is called Magi Nation. So this is what y'all had to do. Tap in to the God frequency, to the God in you. You had to tap into that Christ consciousness. You had to tap in and use your first eye to see people for who they truly were. For the blocks that they was creating in your life. You know? For the anchors that they was placing on you energetically, just through their own negative ways, negative thoughts. This this is what I was picking up as well. Like this is somebody being very meddlesome in your relationships and, and, and causing confusion. And you felt very controlled, restricted, stuck for a long time until you stopped allowing yourselves to be led astray. When you took control with that emperor energy and you started to take that that leadership position and you took the reins of your life and went in the direction you went to go, you wanted to go in. That's when you was able to manifest because we got Magi Nation here playing by Red Pill, you know, 
And so that imagination is all about you using your own powerful human imagination to manifest whatever it is you wanted. Setting the intention, co-creating with source, utilizing the elements around you. As above, so below, as within, so without. That's what you started to do. Tap in, beloved. With this disconnect and boredom here on the bottom of the deck, that relationship, those connections were not feeding you. They were not nourishing you. Nur they were not sustaining you. There was no sustenance. It was just sucking you dry. Like I said, you were the life force. They was leeching and being energetic and spiritual parasites to you. That's why you felt discontent and bored. And this is absolutely your energy because look at the four. <laughs> so you had to take the time to assess, to reevaluate. And so what came out was we got choose wisely and we got the king of cups and moderations. So there's absolutely a choice that you're going to have to make. And spirit is telling you, meditate to get it straight, beloved, tap in. Because there is love here and there is, remember, the judgment call. You're going to have to make a judgment. You're going to have to choose wisely. Are you going to choose that children's mother because you have a child even though you know you're miserable? Or are you going to choose this person that you know you have a dope synergy chemistry with and there's genuine love, you know, and, and, and a, a real opportunity to build a future with that person, a very abundant you know and fulfilling life with that person so spirit is forewarning you like look you know don't don't get distracted because you see how this king of cups is looking backwards it's like he's looking to his past i feel like the past is going to tempt you because remember the devil showed up the devil showed up on the bottom of the deck so that devil is very tempting the devil disrupts the devil distracts the devil's trickery you know he's very deceptive envious even jealous so they could see that you're you have happiness look at this this devil's trying to block this happiness these are the two cards on the bottom of the deck the devil's on the very bottom and this was underneath the sun was on the bottom so you see how you're going to have a connection that brings a lot of joy peace happiness equal give and take the sun's you know the 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 um you know the sun rays are made of hands so it's like don't get distracted don't let anybody come in and dupe you and manipulate you because they're going to try to keep you stuck in this old unhappy, discontent relationship. So why is this 44 environment and the ace of coins here for my divine masculines? May I have a message of love and light. Thank you, spirit. And we got base chakra. So this is def definitely, this is, this is a person that you have a lot of love. This is someone you have history. This is someone you're going to feel a sense of stability, security. This is someone that you're going to feel safe with. This is someone that you're going to have equal give and take. This is a very powerful union. And I feel like this is a blessing coming from the divine because of the hurt and the pain, the loss that you've experienced in your past. It's like spirit is giving you this reward because of the healing. You've healed from the heartache, the loss, the sudden loss, the enormous change, the sudden upheavals. You've healed from the toxicity, the trauma. And that's why spirit is giving you something tangible. And it's because you did the work. You started at the root and you have ascended all the way to the crown. That's why you have this awareness. So spirit, why is this 57 teaching and learning and the high priestess here for my divine masculines? We have a message of love and light. Thank you, spirit. And so we have, look at this. We got the balance card and we got the solitude. So this is you remain humble. This is somebody that's also balancing the scales. Spirit is telling you to use your discernment because we got the number six third eye on the bottom of the deck. And we also had the um, we also had the discontent and boredom jump out. So spirit is telling you, you know, um, with this nine solitude, this is the hermit. And so this is like take time, you know, meditate to get it straight. Because remember, uh, spirit already forewarned you and told you choose wisely. So they want you to choose, you know, use your intuition because there's only one person that's going to bring about some sense of balance, you know. And with this 11, you know, this 11 deals with justice. So I do feel like the scales are being balanced, like there's an opportunity, you know, something is hand being handled in a fair and just manner for you. 
you know, but spirit wants you to make the right decision. And so we have genius. Um, this is Jizza, and the name of this song is called Cold War. So, yeah, the, you got to choose wisely, like I said. So make sure that you, because with teaching and learning, it's like don't repeat the same mistakes. You know, that's why Choose Wisely came out, and that's why you also have um, this disruption card and the devil, because it's like somebody's trying to distract you. And so you have to make sure that you protect your energy because that's what that nine is all about. It's about you taking the time out to seek the answers within. Don't let anybody convince you or persuade you to do anything you don't want to do. Not even that children's mother, not even that father, not even your own mother, whomever it is that's like interfering in your business, put them on pause and you go within and you ask yourself what's best for you and get the answer straight from source. But spirit is saying that there is an opportunity to balance the scales and they want you to trust your own intuition and use discernment. Don't get distracted or don't get um, persuaded or duped or tricked or gaffled or played by someone else because there's a strong chance that you could get stuck right back into that 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 cycle of being discontent bored unfulfilled unhappy you know what I'm talking about but you do have a divine feminine that's right here she's right here beloveds make the right decision choose wisely don't go backwards go forwards upwards and onwards Ashe. So this is your reading, beloved Divine Masculines. I hope the message has resonated for you. If you found that it did, please be kind. Hit the like, the share, and the subscribe button. Definitely hit the bell notification so you know whenever I upload. If you are new, hope you stay a while. If you are returning, beloved, you already know what it is. Love is love is love. Until next time, Ashe.